this building. This is our reception area. Don and Jeanette take care of everyone that comes into the building, including the postman. <laughs> Generally, there's between 40 and 50 people working at the building at any one time. And we start on this end and work our way along just like a book would. Okay, that sounds good. So this is where brand new books get delivered. Okay. So we have several people that work with committees um, to pick books that we're going to buy for the library. And we also take patron requests. So if somebody heard about a book and they really want us to bring it in, they can send us a little note on our website and we can order it for them. And then it becomes part of our system. So a new book will arrive here and it comes with complete with some paperwork. And then this department here is called Acquisitions and all the new books that come in, um, they take care of the orders and make sure that the orders have arrived properly. And then they get passed along over to this section. Oh, and while we're here, <laughs> we have these awesome um, kits that people can take out of the library and they have puppets and stories and, um, they, and the librarians will use these to do their story times. So it's a okay. really great collection that our librarians use all the time. <laughs> mm. I often wondered where you stored those neat puppets, I see. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so then the new books come to this area called Processing. So at this point, they get entered into our catalog. And that way, if you go online, you can see what books we have in our system and in the catalog. So the new books have to be entered into the catalog for a patron to take them out or for one of our branches to request them. Oh, okay. Now, how is it decided which branch gets a new book? Usually we order more than one copy, and so then we try to spread them out. Um, some branches will request things, like they'll say, oh, we're running low on autobiographies, so if a new autobiography comes in, it'll go to that branch first. But often when we get new books, they already have patron holds on them, because they're entered in the catalog before they get to the branches. Oh, okay. So people are putting holds on them, and so that determines where the books go first. Okay. I often wondered that. Mm -hmm. And so after they're entered into the catalog, they move along to the next section. And lucky for us, we have lots of these little carts <laughs> with wheels. <laughs> and that's how things get moved. And we don't just have books at the library. We also have um, feature films, lots of different DVDs for adults and for kids, um, both educational and popular. And so they they also get catalogued in the same way. And we also have CDs that we get at the library. I, I, I don't have to be there at that So then we get to this department. Yeah, and at this point, they're putting on the cataloging stickers. So each of our books gets a barcode. And okay. that's how we track them through the system. And then once the books have been cataloged and barcoded, then they end up over in the allocations department. And that's where they get put into the correct area to get shipped off to the different branches. This is also when someone puts a hold, hold on a book that we already have, um, that book will come from wherever it is and come back here and then get sent on to where it's supposed to be. So we have what we call a floating collection at the Okanagan Regional Library. So no book belongs to any one branch. All the books belong to all the branches. And we have over three quarters of a million items in our print and DVD wow, and that's CD system. That's not to mention our electronic resources. <laughs> that's a lot of books. That's a lot of books. So once the decision is made where the book is going to go, it comes over to this area. that are going out, and then any other internal mail that needs to go, um, publicity items, and you know, different things like that. The um, tags asked the question I was going to answer, my question I was yeah. going to ask, and that was, how do they know where to send exactly. each book? So everything is separated out by branch. 
And then our staff in the allocations department load up these bins. And every day the van comes and it takes bins to different areas of the Open Open Regional Library. Okay. Is there a, I know it's just two different colored bins. Is there a reason? No. No. Just accidental. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty years old. They've lasted a long time. Well, that's good. pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Wear and tear. So sometimes books wear out or they're not needed anymore in our system. No one's taken them out for years, so I'll show you what happens. And so in this room are books that sadly have been weeded from our system and that's what we call it when our librarians go through and they look at when the last time the book was taken out um, or what condition it's in and if the books are still in good condition they come to this room and then the friends of the library get them and they hold their book sales and that's a way for the friends of the library to raise money that goes back into the libraries for programming and sometimes special purchases, like a comfy chair for story time. I, I've been to a couple of the book sales. I, I like They're them. They're really good. And private people also make donations to the friends of the library. So there's usually a really good selection of really good price books. Yeah. So for people that don't know, we have 29 branches in the Okanagan Regional Library System. We stretch from Golden in the east all the way to Princeton in the west and from North Shishwap down to Oliver. So we serve an area of about 320,000 people and it's geographically the size of Ireland. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how many members? In the, up to the library. Um, mm. About half of the population have a, an active library card. Oh, well, that's uh, impressive. It's great. Especially in this day and age. It, well, it is, and you know, we don't just offer the print books, so right. as people make a shift to e-books or e-music or uh, e-audio books, they can take those things out through our system as well. The view from the second floor. Yeah, it gives you a nice overview. And if it were necessary in the future, this building has been built that this floor could be closed. So we can add more space upstairs if we needed to. So they, we thought about that when we were building this, this new building. Nice. It's always a good thing for the future. It's planning for the future. So we're on the second floor now, and this is where a lot of our um, managers have their offices. And I'll show you our computer lab. We do a lot of training for our staff. They have to, of course, be kept up to date. And right now we're getting a new um, ILS, which is an integrated library system. So that will affect how our catalog looks. So we're doing a lot of training right now. So we do have a state-of-the-art lab here, which is empty today, but that's quite unusual. <laughs> Usually it's full of people learning something new. have our IT department on this floor as well. The server room is always fascinating to me. I don't know if the door is unlocked, but we can peek through the window maybe. Oh, there's the lights today. Oh, it's this one. That's why. <laughs> today it's green and blue. <laughs> and it seems like sometimes the colors change. So we have our own servers for the library, so that helps us um, keep a lot of control over what's going on and it's very protected. We host, of course, people's private information, their names, their birthdays, where they live, and so we wouldn't want that information to be readily accessible, so it's very well protected. And it's like Christmas in there. <laughs> yeah, and so this is the IT department, but usually the guys aren't here, they're out in the branches either training them on new pieces of equipment or helping fix little little hiccups. Yeah. 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 Nice looking furniture. Mm -hmm. It's not even one per branch. <laughs> no. Oh no, they're kept very, very busy. 
So in this area we have our public service managers and their support staff as well as our virtual librarian. So public service managers look after the customer experience um, in our branches and also they oversee the programming within our branches. Oh, like um, the magician that's exactly, going around that like Exactly, like Leaf David the magician is going through right now. Yeah, so they um, help all the branches and they, they're both professional librarians, our public service managers, so they're able to provide a lot of support to the librarians that are out in the branches. Okay. He's just making a little video about the library. So oh! I'm telling him what you do. <laughs> or what? <laughs> oh, it'll go up on the Facebook and the YouTube and stuff. Oh, yeah. oh! Behind the scenes, you got lots of editing to do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't edit anything. Well, that'd be a really boring video. <laughs> yeah. oh, whoa, whoa, it's pretty, whoa. It's pretty ah. good. <laughs> I have fun. My job keeps me on my toes. Holy dino! I never know what's going to hit because mm -hmm. it can be anything from staffing, personnel, uh, building, collection. Uh, Collections. That's like. Oh. Oh, you mean book collections or overdue books and type no thing, collection or? issues in terms of housing it or or um, just discussing uh, how they want to arrange it or why things aren't moving in their branch or or community needs or oh, oh like oh. good night. <laughs> this morning I dealt with a staff member whose husband's in the hospital and we're trying to find coverage for the branch because we can't find any to. Um, discussing with the librarian and salmon arms, some shelving issues, to um, paperwork on chairs, to um, oh, some F friends of the library business. To, like it's just like all over the map. Woo. It's something new every day. It is. It yeah. is. It sounds like something new every five minutes. Well, it is. It's it's uh, it keeps me hopping, but it's it's good. Yeah. And yeah. that's why it's a good thing we have two public service. I don't know. I, yeah, I have yeah. no idea how one person would do this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So awesome. Anyway, Thanks, thank Monica. you. <laughs> thank you. You need to get out to the branches where it's fun behind the scenes. Boring stuff. Behind the scenes. <laughs> So we also have a virtual librarian, and she looks after all of the online um, books. We have you can you can get e-books, you can get e-audio books. So if you're traveling, you can download a book to your MP3 player, whatever type you have, or your tablet, and you can listen to it while you're driving. <laughs> That's pretty cool, and you can reload anytime. And the nice thing about e-books and e-audio books is, at the end of the three weeks, they just disappear off your Oh. device, so there's never any late fees. <laughs> With our real books, we still have late fees, but they're, we're pretty le lenient as far as that goes. Um, I will admit really I was pricey. forgiven a few times. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good, and I've paid a few times. <laughs> usually it's like 30 cents or a <laughs> dollar. So. Yeah. And we have a, a large boardroom on this floor as well, uh, which is great because we have a board that has 25 members. Oh, we have 25 okay. member municipalities within the Okanagan Regional Library System. And each of those, um, when you join the ORL, you're allowed to have somebody on the board. And it's usually, oh, okay. well, always an elected official. Um, we also have elected officials from West Bank First Nation and Penticton Indian Band on our board because they're part of our Okanagan Regional Library System. Okay. So we have more offices here, our administrative services manager, the executive director's office. She's in a meeting right now, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. We have my office here, and I'm the communications manager for the RL. So I look after all of the publicity and promotion of all of our programming and events and promoting our collections and our e-resources. Um, and I handle that for the whole, I can make the light come on if I, there. <laughs> um, Let's see. Yeah, so I look after all of that communications for all 29 branches, as well as our social media. Um, I do a lot of work with our website, and uh, and then lots of you know, other kinds of communication, thank you letters, and and um, internal communications between staff. I take care of our staff newsletter and that type of thing. So it's a lot of fun and something different every day. <laughs> so. And of course, it's a 
Well, it does which means a busy person. Well, yeah, you know, I've always got several different things on the go at once. I don't, I don't <laughs> like people's desks that are totally clean when I walk in. I'm like, okay, obviously you haven't been working. Yeah. <laughs> so, in total, we have about 250 staff at the Okanagan Regional Library through our system. Okay. So, we have an HR department of two. And, of course... You know, we have a big operating and capital budget, so we have a financial manager who is taking a well-deserved week off this week, and then he has two support staff that work with him, so it's a department of three for finances. And any upcoming building plans? Or? Yeah, as a matter of fact, um, right now we are building a new library for Summerland. We have a branch there, and it's about 3,000 square feet, and really they need one that's about 7,000 square feet. So okay. we are building a brand new 8,000 square foot building. Um, we bought property right on Main Street, and uh, we hope to have that open yeah, in about a year or so. Oh, so okay, perfect. It would be a big, good time for me to come back up. That's right, for sure. So Buddy's our, the graphic technician, so he's the other member of the communications department. Hi. We're making a behind the scenes video of the, for the ORL. Uh-oh. So, <laughs> yeah, so we do, all of our graphics get done in house, and Buddy's the man in charge, so if Makes so all that, and, and all that neat stuff on the website and that, he, the graphics there too? A lot of the Some graphics of yeah. on the website have been developed by Buddy, and uh, and he operates the, the big screen TV in Verdon um, remotely from here, and oh, all the wow. programming information, and advertisements for the newspaper, and on and on and on, on, and, on and on, <laughs> bookmarks and pamphlets. And Do you enjoy the job? Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Good boss. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, so that's that's about the end of it. Yeah, you've seen it all. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're very welcome. I'm glad you could come by.